Hi, welcome to Seymour's World at Think Tech Hawaii. What a couple of weeks it has been. Our last show with Dana Land was unbelievable. We had over 300 people giving us comments and asking where to see her. And the day after, she played at Rehab Hospital, and they even knew about it. So we were very, very excited. And I thank you very much for all of your wonderful comments. Uh, I, the day after the show, I had to go to China, and I had to work there for a week. And everybody knows about the smog and how terrible it is in, in China. And I have to say, it was not very comfortable, except for one thing. I didn't see any homeless people on the street. Everybody seemed to have a job. Everybody seemed to be working. I couldn't find anything uh, regarding poor people there. And that stuck in my mind. And then I came home and I was driving back from the airport and I passed by some parks here in Hawaii on the way home. And all I saw were tents, poor people, homeless people. And I said, this is horrible. So I decided that I'm going to do a show on it, and I have a very good friend. I want to introduce my guest, Stan Markle. Hi, Stan. Hi, Seymour. And I, I asked him to come on the show because he works for the Hawaii Food Bank. And the Hawaii Food Bank has done such an ad admirable job, Stan, in helping poor people in Hawaii. And I don't want to use the poor as, as, a, as an adjective. I want to use it as a section of our population, people who just don't have enough for what's going on. And Hawaii Food Bank in the nation is recognized as one of the premier, premier sources of food for people who need it. And I'd like you to describe a little bit what the, what the Hawaii Food Bank does. Okay, well, uh, the Hawaii Food, Pan food Bank is part of uh, Feeding America, which is a consortium of 200 food banks across the country. And we've been in existence here uh, for about 28 years. And we serve approximately 200 agencies who in turn provide food uh, for the homeless. And how many pounds of food are we talking about? Well, the need is great here and it seems to be getting greater all the time, uh, as you mentioned. Uh, this past fiscal year, which just concluded at the end of June, uh, we brought in 14,250,000 pounds of food. So 14. over a million pounds of food wow. a month passes through our distribution uh, warehouse. To feed, to feed the needy, to feed the people that need. Right. It is, it's, a, it's amazing to me when I look at the, everything we're talking about in the news today. And we talk about ISIS and terrorism and it's horrible. But we have to take care of the people back home. And I don't care whether you're in Montreal or New York or Los Angeles or wherever you are in the world watching this show. I want you to think about just giving some food. Just giving some cans, giving some things that you never use that have been sitting in the pantry for a long time. Give them to the needy. And the Hawaii Food Bank does exactly that. It's absolutely. just amazing. No, absolutely. Uh, one in five people in Hawaii receive food uh, through our food bank. Uh, our mission is very simple, really. We just don't think that anybody in our Ohana family in Hawaii should go hungry. It's fabulous, Stan. One of the, uh, the reasons that I wanted to bring you specifically on to the food bank is because I want people to know that you and I are old friends. We've been together for 30 years. Our kids went to school together. Yep. And uh, I have great admiration for you because you survived cancer that we thought was unbelievable. We thought we would not see you again. But you were back on the tennis court last week. And we played together. Uh -huh. uh, uh, fortunately, I beat you. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, it, was, it was a great match. And it's just testament to your strength and perseverance, Stan, that, that you have survived cancer. So it, wow. we're really, really happy to see you back again. Well, thank you. Thank you, Seymour. It's thank a, you, Seymour. I, I, uh, I'm glad just to be playing, really. I know, I know. And one of these days, I'll be able to uh, return that serve of yours. It's so <laughs> peculiar. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit crazy. Let's get back to okay. the food bank and, and what it does. Uh, a lot of uh, issues have come up regarding the percentage of uh, food, money, et cetera, et cetera, that it takes to run the organizations that we see. And uh, I was surprised when you told me that 95% of the money raised goes directly to the cause. Absolutely, absolutely. We're a very lean and mean organization. We, uh, uh, everybody has to wear multiple hats. I'm a director of product resourcing, which includes uh, donations, procurement, 
uh, but I also get involved in food drives. Uh, and we uh, are here today to talk a little bit about the National Association of Letter Carrier Food Well, why don't, you, uh, why don't you introduce Adele first? I want to introduce one of the most amazing people I've ever met, Adele Yoshioka. She's uh, with the NALC, so she's one of the hardworking letter carriers that come to your house every day to deliver the mail. And she's going to talk a little bit about a food drive that really helps us stay afloat at the Hawaii Food Bank. Well, uh, I, we have a, go ahead. a second Saturday of every month. Go ahead, Adele. Knock him dead. <laughs> Adele, before you get started, uh, let's, you're a lady from Hawaii, obviously, and you were born and raised here? Born and raised here. And uh, you also are a cancer survivor, I understand. I, I am. Wow. So I, I'm in the presence of two people who really have done something extraordinary. And you both notice before you get started that yeah. you give more now because of your survival, that you, you decide that your legacy is not just to do the best that you can for yourself but to give back to others absolutely absolutely i've had a, a clearer um, sense of life now and um, about helping people so i i am just so fortunate to work for the united states postal service and we always emphasize that we do more than just deliver the mail so events like this like the hawaii food drive i mean the food bank and the nlc uh, letter carriers food drive is it, it, i am so passionate about it and so I'm, what is it? What, what, how do you get involved in the, or the Postal Union yeah, so get involved in the food So as I mentioned before, letting the, the public know we do more than deliver the mail. So I've been a coordinator for over 10 years. Wow. And it's, it's a, a one-day drive. Now think about this now. In one day, we collect more food than any other organization in the world. Last oh year alone God. in the state of Hawaii, over 526,000 pounds of food was just collected in Hawaii nationwide over 70,000 uh, 70 million pounds of food was in collected. one day in one day so in little hawaii and for those <laughs> of you who understand a lot about how small hawaii is we collected 526 thousand pounds yes that is absolutely incredible and that's on we're actually showing a little bit of it the, oh, oh is, that you? <laughs> is that you <laughs> look at that see the blue bags yes. when we got the blue bags our, our numbers actually doubled. We used to collect about two to 300,000 pounds of food. That year, that picture was taken over si almost close to 600,000. This is my family. Oh, wow. We, we reach out to the community. My family comes out every single year to help out. People from the, um, the, the neighborhood, schools, and organizations, we help them out. I say win-win. They come out to volunteer, and that's our way of giving back to the Hawaii Food Bank. And in turn, we give them letters of recommendation. Wow. So how do you do it? How do, you, how do the people know what's going to happen? Uh, we go and uh, send those blue bags and put in their mailboxes. So these, can Sim we show them? Yeah, simple, simple, simple. We'll put it up in yeah. the camera. So we, there we, it um, we put this, this bag in their um, mailboxes. Yeah. We have a reminder card. Uh -huh. And we tell them, very simple, fill the bag, leave it in your mailbox. or at, I always say, better yet. Give it to your letter carrier because nowadays people just don't want to give what's in the bag. They, they buy cases of Vienna sausage and spam. So I said, give it to your letter carrier. Wow. And what's even more exciting is that, I, you know, I met a vegetarian. She's, a, she's my doctor, amazing woman, Dr. Mitzi Gold. She doesn't have candles in her refrigerator, uh, in her cupboard. Right. But she goes, I would absolutely like to write a check. And yeah. so we have that option too. You guys can write a check to the Hawaii Food Bank. And the NALC cat letter carriers get credit for that. You know, you must be so proud. I mean, we could tell how exuberant you are about <laughs> what you do. But you must be so proud of it because it, it does so much for the people. Do you have d direct connection while you're doing your work as a letter carrier w with people who do need food? Oh, absolutely. I, in fact, the area that I deliver in, um, I don't like to use this word, but it's a little, we say, they call it the ghetto, but it's, it's, we have a lot of homeless people. And then, so I've been able to direct them. I said, you know, stop asking me for money. <laughs> I said, I can give you help. And I said, I have an organization that can help you. I'm referring them to the Hawaii Food Bank. And they'll come back and say, thank you, Adele. I was able to eat, you know. And what really hit home for me was my, my brother became homeless. And, mm. and I've been giving back, you know, through the NALC food drive mm -hmm. and not really hitting home until he, um, the organizations here in Hawaii put him in a shelter and the Hawaii Food Bank was able to feed him, and he's back on his feet again now. He has a job, doing well, and that even made me more passionate about volunteering for the event. I think uh, the the idea of the 
postal carrier union, it's a union, it's everybody, right, across the nation yes. that does it, is, it's such a wonderful thing to do because you help so many people. I think some people, and Stan, maybe you can explain it a little bit, they don't realize it's not just about giving food to people to eat. Right. It's about what happens to these people if they don't have food. You know, oh, exactly. they, they, they go steal. There's crime right. involved. Well, I mean, how do you guys help when it comes to making sure that the people actually get the food all the time? Do you have a direct system of delivery? Well, we, we distribute the food through agencies who are 501c uh, nonprofits like us. So many of them are faith-based, like churches, and people register with the church, and they receive uh, food at the church. They have pantries, just like little stores. They'll have it in their churches or in their agencies, and people will come in and receive food there. We, we, uh, we don't have people in need actually coming to our warehouse. We only deal with other uh, and how many how many agencies are there? So uh, there's almost 200 agencies. 200 agencies, 200 agencies that actually distribute food to their members or their people they know yeah. to make sure that they don't go hungry. Right. So we serve 287,000 people in Hawaii, and I think that that number would surprise a lot of people. Wow. 200. That's one fifth of our population. Exactly. Wow. That yeah. is really. That's a, that's a very high percentage. I mean, even people that on the outside look like they're middle class. Hey, they're still having a tough time in Hawaii making ends meet. I mean, they choose between, do they pay for their medicine? Do they pay for their rent? Do they put gas in the car? Well, I'm here to tell you that kids and seniors, that's a lot of the people that we serve, they, have a, they deserve uh, a chance to thrive. And this is, this is trans, a transition for many people. Uh, but thankfully, we're able to, uh, uh, to have a lot of very generous donors in our community. Uh, about 70% of the food we get is through retailers, retail grocery stores and wholesalers, uh, which, is, which is pretty neat. I mean, I grew up, you know, you don't waste. Waste not, mm -hmm. want not. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, uh, the credo that we, we live by. And every day for me, it's like a treasure hunt. I think it's wonderful, yeah. Stan. Thank you. Well, we need to get to a break, but yeah. I do want to get into the actual mechanics of how this all works, because when you think about hundreds of thousands of pounds of, I mean, how many pallets you all do and all that stuff, right. we're, we're going to talk about that after Sounds the break. Sounds good. I, uh, I really am quite passionate about what, what the Hawaii Food Bank does, and Adele and Stan have given us a, a small indication of what you can do and how important it is for you to be a part of the Hawaii Food Bank if you live here in Hawaii or anywhere else in the world, how important it is to help your neighbors. They may not be your direct neighbors, but they are part of our society and we need to give them some assistance. We'll be back in a minute. I'm Seymour Kazimersky on Seymour's World at ThinkTech Hawaii. Aloha, it's summertime in Honolulu, Hawaii. My name is Stephen Philip Katz. I'm your host for Shrink Wrap Hawaii. We're on every Tuesday at three o'clock and we talk about mental health and general health. Join us, thank you. Aloha, I'm Kawi Lucas, host of Hawaii is my mainland every Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. I also have a blog of the same name at kawilucas.com where you can see all of my past shows. Join me this Friday and every Friday at 3 p.m. Aloha. Aloha! This is Rez McJackal. The University of Hawaii football team under Rolovich is going to kick butt this season. In case you didn't understand me, University of Hawaii football team is going to kick butt under Rolovich this season. So be sure to follow us on Think Tech Hawaii and Hibachi Top. I'll be at every game. And remember, aloha! Hi, welcome back to Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. We have one of my most important shows today, which is how do we help people who really need assistance? And the Hawaii Food Bank in Hawaii is a, an amazing organization, an organization that feeds more people per capita than anywhere in the world. Li the little state of Hawaii is able to do that. And a lot of it has to do with the letter carriers. And Adele, you were talking before about what you do. Tell us a little bit about the stories. Okay, so I've been with a, uh, a letter carrier for almost 18 years. And I just helped out every year, not really knowing behind the scenes. So one year I was asked to be a coordinator, walked into the warehouse, 
and you're talking about the Hawaii yeah food the Hawaii bank. food bank I yeah. walked into the warehouse and right before our food drive the warehouse was empty and then after our food drive how we um, the, the shelves were just flourished and I was like this is amazing but what really hit home too is our food drive is held the second Saturday of May every single year next year is gonna be our 25th anniversary and I didn't realize that the kids during the summer months uh, a lot of them don't have food and so our drive you know happening in May it sets them up for the summer months Wow. And so that even made me even more passionate about the drive. So how did this year's drive go? The yes. May drive this year? Yeah, so this, this is probably, I think, in our top five of the 24, or the 24 years. And like we mentioned earlier, over 526,000 pounds of food was collected in, in, in Hawaii alone. So Stan, what happens when you get 500? Oh, I'm trying to understand <laughs> the actual Listen. logistics of it. 526,000 pounds of food, does it all come at one time? Well, what do you do? It's, I'm glad you asked that, Seymour, because uh, we're closed on Saturday. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's uh, when they collect, right, is on Saturday. Yeah, yep. and, and, and so uh, think about it. I mean, all these letter carriers with these little trucks and they have to deliver the mail too, you know. Now they're stuffed with all this food. So it all goes to their station, their post office. So what we do is a lot of very generous companies in town uh, donate their truck and a driver, and we assign them post offices to go to on Saturday, the second Saturday of May. So the trucks all come in at assigned times to the food bank. And you unload. And we receive them in, and, and uh, from seven o'clock until 10 o'clock at night. So I wanna put a plug in here mm -hmm. for the AFL-CIO because they help arrange a lot of volunteers. Wow. And believe it or not, there's 400 volunteers. <laughs> 400 volunteers just yep. unloading these trucks and yeah. stocking the shelves it's and organizing everything. It's just controlled chaos. And, and our uh, Kaiser uh, is so generous, they provide dinner for all the volunteers uh -huh. and uh, Ko Koala Moa is who provided it, but hey, we got to get done fast because it's back to work, baby. And you have a <laughs> lot of sponsors too, right? Yes. Uh, I, I read some of these sponsors that you have on this drive, if you want to, or show it right on here. there. Down at the bottom, you yeah, can Yeah, we want to put a plug in for yeah. the people that, that make this happen with these blue bags. Uh, this is quite expensive for us. So I want to thank McDonald's, mm -hmm. and I want to thank Minahuni Water. And I want to thank uh, Honolulu Freight as well as, of course, AFL-CIO uh, for helping subsidize the cost of, of these bags. And uh, we're That's looking for more sponsors all the time. I was just going to say, can anybody be a sponsor? Do they just call you? And yes. Just okay, absolutely. <laughs> yes, we did. <agree. laughs> Because we're scared. <laughs> we're scared. <laughs> you're you're always scared. That 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 we have to go out and order all this right. uh, school uh, You know what I really admire about what you do, because you know I'm involved in several yes. philanthropic organizations as well, is that A, 95% of the money that's raised goes directly towards the cause. That's wonderful. But that you're getting the community involved, that yep. you're getting others involved. For instance, I do a foster kids program, yep. and we're doing an awards banquet in, uh, in December, and I happen to be the recipient of the Volunteer of the Year Award for that banquet, which is very nice, and I appreciate it. But all the kids are participating because they are going to be part of the event to make sure they understand why things happen. And I think you're doing the same thing. The letter carriers, yeah. what a... What I wanted to share I mean, about, how many are you? volunteers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, years ago, we used to um, collect our own food, box our own food, go home at 10 o'clock in the night. Through the years in the community, we got uh, volunteers from the high schools, um, the Navy and the Navy SEALs come out and everything. And so now we have over 100 volunteers that just come to our Pro City Post Office. That's fabulous. And we're able to go home at 5. That's and you, you have to see um, when the volunteers come out, knowing that they're giving back. you got to see the face. They, they long for our food drive. We're, sometimes we dread it, honestly, because he said, we still deliver the mail. We, we, we let the public know upon our regular mail delivery, we still pick up the food. So we're doing dual jobs at that time. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so that now that volunteers come out and then they're like, we're so excited to help. And then so we see the passion in them and then it makes us like, okay, wake up. This is just one day out of the year. <laughs> it's all good, you know? I think, you know, the, uh, the, the passion that you have and stand that you have, it, it's, it's, it's so evident that you love the job that you're doing because it's such a direct involvement. Uh, you know, in my work, I, I just got back from China and I was working over there for a client and we're talking about building uh, zip lines 
you know, ZipTrack lines for the Beijing Olympics. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's all great stuff. But when you see that you're doing something directly involved for a child to eat, yeah. to have a meal, I mean, that is so much more worthy. Yep. Where did that come from for you? Stan, you were mentioning about your cancer. Well, I, I, I've been in the food business in Hawaii for 30 years, so I, I know a little bit about where there's catch points, where there's waste. Uh, but, but to your point, uh, yeah, I got that diagnosis, and that's really a bummer, but I thought a lot about my life, and I read a book about the purpose-driven life, and uh, I said to myself, if I ever come out of this, you know, it'd be great to do something to actually help somebody. And I got to tell you, I love to go to work every day. Yeah. I love the people that I work with. And working for a nonprofit, it's a total different mindset. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy right next about the to money, you, is it, Stan? It's, it's not the same as just fighting like heck to make quota. Right. It's different than the guy next to you just trying to get his bonus. Yeah. And he's got a different set of objectives of yours. I mean, this is a total different thing. I mean, we all work together very hard, and when we have different events, uh, like uh, Great Chefs, where we turn our whole warehouse into a, a restaurant, yeah. or when we do construction, which is coming up, or when we do our food drives, all the people in our company have to circle the wagons, and it's all about the next event. Stan, you gave me a saying that you believe in. Could you repeat it for our audience? Oh, I'd, I'd love to. Uh, Muhammad Ali, I thought, had a great quote when he said, uh, service is the rent we pay for our room here on earth. And that is so true, so true. And obviously it's something that you ascribe to now, which is wonderful. Now you, Adele, had <laughs> I had to go now, I know I had to go get it. You're reaching, you want to get it right. Okay, go ahead, because it's, okay. it's, it's, it's absolutely apt for what we're talking right. about. Okay, so um, I, I went to, to attend, right? I say, think about what he said. Um, you never think it's going to be you diagnosed with cancer. So 2014, I get a call from the doctor on a Sunday before Memorial Day. I said, doctors don't call you with good news on a Sunday. <laughs> and so he told me, you just never think it's you. So I thought about my life at that time, and I'm like, what am I going to do? So I actually went to a seminar, size seminars, and every day they send a thought for the day. So I just wanted to share this thought. It says, the things you do for yourself are gone when you are gone. Um, wait, I need glasses. <laughs> but the things you do for others remain as your legacy. That's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah, and so when I, I just heard this thought and being on the show today, I had chicken skin. More yeah. so, I want to give back and I don't want to cry, but... That's okay. <laughs> no, but you know, it just it hits home. It, it's just one person at a time. If we can just help one person and it just takes a little. But can you imagine if everybody had the same mindset and everybody just gave a little, how amazing the road would be? You're 100% right. Yeah. And I think you are both testament to that. The idea that uh, you are now in a stage of your life, no matter what, although you still don't look like you have grandchildren, I but you <laughs> totally, I can't believe it. I have two beautiful grandchildren. <laughs> you're at a stage <laughs> in your life where you're starting to realize that giving back is more important than taking. And I think it's so impressive. Stan, I've known you for 30 years that uh, at the ages that we are all at now, if we can convince more and more people to do the same, just think about helping somebody cross the street or just do something yeah. for somebody in whatever way, fashion that you can. Give somebody a meal, you know, do something for others that have a little less fortunate times than mm -hmm. you have and you will feel so much better inside. You'll feel so good about yourself. That's true. And that's part of the message that we have, which yes. I think is well terrific. Said. Now, you have a, a, a shirt here. Yes. I've been, um, and I'm excited because this is a, from this. our previous year. But I'm excited that this is your one of your favorite colors. It is. Yeah. <laughs> my, my wife, Sue, says I look good in orange. So don't <laughs> orange, right? But every year we get a, a, um, a t-shirt like this. How beautiful. You see the woman on here? Wow. And it says the Hawaii Food Bank and the um, Letter Carriers Food Drive. Can you put it up? Yeah. Look at that. And so that every year we get a different color. This, this, this year we had like a royal blue. Okay. Yeah. So I guess, wait, I have to show this. She can zoom in. The, uh, yep. This is our NALC, um, where is it? Your logo. Our NALC, NALC logo. So that's the letter carrier's shirt. That's your shirt. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. And the day that you do the collection, do they let remember, you wear it? Remember, yes, we all wear it. On May 22nd. Yes, so some of the pictures that she showed on there, yes. this year was a royal blue. Right, I saw them. And so we all, we all wear it on the street. We wear it at the um, food bank, and so oh. it's exciting. And then we give all our volunteers. 
So think about if those second Saturday in May, so next year is going to be May 13, 2017. You want to volunteer, come to our office. We'll feed you lunch. See how beautiful? Yep. We'll yep. feed you lunch and you get a free shirt. Oh, that <laughs> so is so Put it on your calendar. <laughs> now, Stan, besides theirs, you take food all the time, right? Yes, we at do. At any time, could people drop off food? Yes, we do. You just come down to our uh, warehouse at 2611 Keeley House Street. Keeley House. Keeley Street. House. So it's yep. uh, in oh, it's They can look up Hawaii Food Bank and... Yes, or go to our word. website. We have an yep. excellent Google website. Google it. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's wonderful. So you can also drop uh, drop off food at any Napa Auto Parts oh. store, and our trucks pick up there. I know at Temple Emmanuel, we we yes. we drive food or we get food for you guys for your. Put a shout out to drive. Richard Field. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Good friend of mine. Yes, and a good golfer, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> I know, I know you watch my show <laughs> because I've had comments from you. So, uh, good comments, by the way. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, or any Ruby Tuesdays on the island. Terrific. So Napa Auto Parts, Ruby Tuesday. We try to make it easy for people to to donate food uh, to us. What an organization! I'm so impressed. And remember now. Send checks too. <laughs> That's right. Next year is our 25th year, yes. our 25th anniversary. We want it to be, I mean, if we can shoot for a million pounds, yep. nothing is, is too far reach. You know? So uh, do you think that uh, Adele is uh, really a very calm, easy person about <laughs> this? <laughs> you are, you are the, a wonderful, wonderful example of somebody who loves what they do. Stan, to both of you, I want to say thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank I you think so it's much. so important, the work that you guys are doing. And I wanted to emphasize it because it is, uh, uh, you know, the news doesn't talk about it very much. Uh, they talk more about the stuff like uh, um, terrorism, which I know is bad. Uh -huh. But we need to help the people here. And everybody, everybody can do something so simple as take a bag mm -hmm. uh -huh. and just fill the bag with some, right. some stuff from your pantry. Right, Not right, a right, big right. deal to drop it off. You'll feel so good about doing that. Right? Yes, and don't, and don't worry about these expiration dates or these dates on there. Just give us the food. And then you guys will take it. There's a lot of confusion right. about a best of use by date, an expiration. Yeah, don't but worry you guys, about it. Just yeah. give it to us. We'll figure it out. Good. Well, again, thank you for doing what you do and allowing us yeah, thank you, Seymour. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's uh, and it really is my pleasure. You know, it's, uh, none of us get paid for anything that we do here. So I just think it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful way to convey a message Absolutely. to our audience that they can do and make a difference. Thank you, Adele. Thank you, Stan. Thanks, Seymour. Thank you, everybody, for watching our show today. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be back in two weeks again because my son is getting married. Aaron is getting married here in Honolulu, and uh, the wedding is on Saturday, and the show is on Friday. And I do have a show planned for the 29th of July, uh, but uh, things might get a little tough with time and everybody flying in for the wedding. So aloha from Seymour's World on Think Tech Hawaii. Hopefully we'll see you in two weeks. If not, we'll see you in a month. Bye-bye.